Friday, August 11th. It's the Lawrence County Veterans Stand Down at the Armory Frank Avenue, Newcastle. From 1 to 3 a.m. This event is for homeless veterans, service members and their families, homeless civilians, and the public. Going on will be health screenings, haircuts, and entertainment. Giveaways include clothing, shoes, hygiene products, special information, free lunch, and more. If you'd like to volunteer, donate, or be a vendor, contact M. Russell at lccap.org or call 724-658-7258. Special thanks to Butts, Flowers, Gifts, and More in downtown Newcastle for their support and funding of this program. Butts, Flowers, downtown Newcastle. There's more than the eye. You got a gift from the Newcastle I try. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. After conducting that interview, I thought that it was appropriate to read the letter. Now, the letter had been in our um, possession for uh, some time. And the letter was addressed to Mayor Anthony G. Mistrangelo, 230 North Jefferson Street. The letter goes on. Dear Mayor Mistrangelo, we the undersigned national and local civil rights faith-based human rights and community organizations write to ask you to join us in publicly embracing our nation's core values of pluralism, religious freedom for all while firmly rejecting the forces of hate bigotry that seek to divide us as you may be aware act for america the nation's largest anti-muslim hate group called for a protest in newcastle as part of a coordinated series of protests over 60 cities september 9th Timed near the anniversary of the September 11th attack, ACT branded these events as America First rallies to explicitly target Muslims at a time when hatred and bigotry have swept the nation. ACT announced this week that it is canceling the rallies for September. This suggests that ACT fears a backlash in likely event that, that white supremacists participate in the rallies and threaten to participate or perpetrate violence. And the word was perpetrate. Threaten or perpetrate violence. Act support for bigotry is overt and it is documented history of attracting white nationalist support. Act's founder, Bridget Gabriel, regularly vilifies Muslims, claiming that practices Muslims cannot be loyal to the United States. She also once said that every participating Muslim is a radical Muslim, and that Muslims are natural, treated to civilized people people of the world natural threat to civilized people of the world this is I, and I want to make sure I get every word as I'm glancing off to the side particularly Western society both she and act have had a long history of promoting policies at the federal and state levels intended to manufacture fear of Muslims Act similar rallies, uh, similar rallies on June 10th of this year, that not only attracted anti-Muslim activists but also hosted armed militia-type groups, white nationalists, at least two of Act's 
scheduled protest for September 9th featured organizers who openly embraced nationalism. As the country recently witnessed in Charlottesville, rallies organized to promote bigotry similar to events planned for September 9th can lead to states of emergency, physical violence, and even murder. Horrific events in Charlottesville occurred despite a prepared response from the state and local officials and law enforcement. Although ACT has removed its endorsement for, and branding from the rallies that may take place, many of the r rallies have been organized and may continue with or without ACT's brand. In light of this possibility and recent events, we urge you to unequivocally condemn white supremacists and anti-Muslim hatred and make it clear that bigotry and violence are not welcome in Newcastle. We are deeply concerned, it goes on, we are deeply concerned about the type of message that anti-Muslim protest sends to the American public and to the good people of your city. That 